Welcome to Skyward Educator Access Plus training. In Skyward there are a few ways to take attendance. We will start with our first way by clicking our Teacher Access tab and going down to our Post Daily Attendance link. This will bring us to our Post Daily Attendance homepage, which will start with our entity number and followed by our school name. And we have a few headers across the top here. We have our department, our subject, all the terms your classes are being offered, the periods they're being offered, um, what days they meet. The class is your course number followed by the section number and also the description of all your classes. Under your attendance options there are two ways to take attendance either by name or by seating chart. I will start with by name and I will use my homeroom. Now if you are an elementary teacher you will only be required to take attendance in your homeroom period. Because elementary students generally stay in the same classroom with the same teacher it is not required to take attendance every period. That will be decided by your school principal. Secondary schools will be required to take attendance every period. For example I'm using my homeroom period as if I was either a elementary school teacher or I was in a secondary school that had homeroom before they went to first. Now if we look at the top here it will default to showing the last 15 days and also some attendance counts and tardy count. Now these counts are just total counts for this class. Uh, for example, Mr. Raimundo was late for my class three times, uh, Mr. DeCruz was absent from my class one time, and also tardy one time. If we wanted to take attendance, we can simply just click on our bubble here and go over to absent, and absent or tardy whatever the case is. Now if we made a mistake and we actually didn't want Juan to be absent, we wanted to make him tardy, we can just click over. Or if we want to make him back to present, we can just click back over to present. Now Skyward will default everyone to present at the beginning of each class, so you will have to make everyone absent or tardy based on your attendance for that period. When we are all finished with this, we will come up here and hit save. and that will let us know that we have taken attendance and what time we have taken the attendance and our username if we want to go back into by name we can see that that attendance has been saved for the day now if we wanted to start fresh it is a new day and everyone is present in our class we still will need to hit our save button up here letting Skyward know that we have taken attendance for today and a pop-up window will appear asking us if we want to say yes for perfect attendance and no to return to the screen and mark our attendance and we will say yes because we do have perfect attendance and again it will bring us back out to our home screen letting us know that it has been saved now if we go back into our by name there's one last thing I wanted to show you with this if we come down here and do some faulty attendance and we realize that we made a bunch of mistakes we don't want to go one by one and click back we could come up here to this undo button and we click that and say OK and it will just default everything back to present now if we wanted to change attendance for a previous day for example on 424 I marked Ray absent if I wanted to say that Ray was actually tardy that day I can simply just click in the box and go up here it is marked as absent I'll just change that to tardy hit save and now that code will be changed if I wanted to completely take someone out I can do the same thing I marked him absent but he actually showed up to my class I just made a mistake I can click present and save and now that code will go away now you're probably wondering what all these letters mean in Skyward, there are three absent types and two tardy types. If you see an A, that means a student was marked absent by the office. If you see an E dash something, this means a student was marked excused with a reason code by the office. If you see a W, this means a student was marked absent by the teacher, which is yourself. All the codes will count for the student's attendance total. Now if we hover over our codes, we can see what each of them mean and if we start with our E-D we can see it stands for absent dash excused doctor's appointment 
if we go to our W, that stands for web absence by the teacher. We'll get to the L's later. And if we go down to our A, that's just absent by the office. The teachers are only responsible for marking the student absent or tardy. If a student comes in with a note saying that he or she was at a doctor's appointment, a college visit, whatever the case may be, they will be sent down to the main office and the main office clerk will change their attendance to an excused absence with a reason code. In Skyward, teachers are not allowed to edit office attendance marks. If we click on the A, we can see that we are not allowed to edit this mark. If we go back and we click on a W, we can see that we are allowed to edit this mark. The W is done by us, the teachers. If we click on the E, we are also not allowed to edit this mark. There are also two types of tardy codes. Elementary schools will only use the T, however secondary schools will use the T and the L code. If you see a T, that was marked by the office. That means the student was tardy for the day. They came into the main office, received a late slip, and then came to your class. If you see an L, that was marked by you, the teacher. An L means the student was late for class, not that they were tardy for the day, but that they came into class after the bell. Well, they were messing around in the hallway, whatever the case may be, they did not have a pass, and you may want to record this data for future reference. Again, the L code will not be used by elementary schools because the students primarily stay in the same classroom and they don't have locker time or transition time. If they are tardy to school, they will be marked a T by the main office. For the most part, you should see a lot of W's and L's. The only way you would see an A is if you were out for the day and a substitute teacher came in because they will not have access to your Skyward login. They will have to take attendance on paper and send it down to the main office. That will be recorded with an A. Another example would be if your computer was down for the day, you would have to take the same procedures and mark your attendance on paper and have the office put it in, which will result in an A code. You may mark a student absent one day, which will result with a W code. And because you don't know why they are absent that day, now they come in the next day saying they were visiting a college, they would bring that note down to the main office, and the main office would change your code from a W to an E-C, which would stand for excuse absence because of college visit. Now we can move over to our upper left-hand corner here where we see our alert legend. Our alert legend brings us back to our tutorial on our My Students link, which talked about our alerts, which is our critical alerts. Maybe the student has a critical alert, we could click it, see he has a peanut allergy, or our student indicators, which could be 504 plan, for example, or an LEP, and just show some basic details. Our alert legend, if we click on that, it will show what each of these colors represent, because I may not know what the orange code is. If I click on my alert legend, I could see, oh, that's a critical alert information, or my 504, oh, he's in blue, that's my 504. So that's Right next to our alert legend, you could see the show today's attendance for all periods. If we click that, this will just change our display here, and it will show us all eight periods of the day. And this will just display all of the students' attendance for that day. So say I'm period three, and I could see if the student was absent, period one and two, or whatever the case may be. Now if we keep going up here, next to show previous week's attendance, if we click that back, we can get back to our original display if we click right next to that our view class summary this will just give us a little bit more information on each student and this will display our simply our grades for all the terms uh, last week's attendance this week's attendance some attendance totals for for this term for the whole year uh, some tardy totals and if we back out of that we can print some simple reports so if we click print class roster now we get to our report page and we could print a report by student names and student info, uh, student name, grade, grad year, birth date, gender, guardian information. Uh, we could do a student name, ID, phone number. We'll just do well, basic guardian info. And we could either print this to Excel or just simply print it on a PDF. I'll just print it on PDF. And now as this loads, this will be loading into our print queue. If I X out of that, our print queue is always located in the upper right hand corner. If I back out, it's here. If I go back into here, it should be in the upper right hand corner on every page. So I'll just 
simply click my print queue and it should be done by now and here it is it is completed and I can just say display report now the reports displayed and I can see all the basic information on my student grade birth date mail whatever the case is now I can print this or simply just save it whatever whatever you want to do I could X out now X out of my print queue and I will go back to my post daily attendance main menu okay the next way we could take attendance is by seating chart again I'll just click my home room so I'll go into by seating chart and by seating chart you could just see all the students displayed and it's very simple you can just pretty much do exactly the same thing hit the drop down go to absent or tardy you have your alerts here with your alert legend up top you can show pictures of the students um, you could print a friendly listing we'll just list them in in order instead of like by boxes um, if you want make a couple more marks and just simply save that and it'll take you back out to your main menu. Now if we wanted to change the order of the seats, we can just say assign seats. And I want to switch Mr. Clark up front. And you can just hit the select button and the menu to swap them will come up. Again I'll do it. Select. You can unselect them if you don't want to select that student. Say we want to select him. We go over here and back to the swap and we can just hit save and go back into our by seating chart and all of those changes are now Ms. Clark's in the front and they're now saved if we go back now we're back to our main menu and that just about wraps up the post daily attendance link if we click on our teacher access tab and go down to our my classes pretty much displays the same layout as the post daily attendance link so if we come over here now we have the class options and again I'll just click stick with my home room I'll click class options and now this will just list all of our class roster in ascending order by last name we will list our first name our grades some alerts student indicators some attendance totals some tardy totals some disciplines, some test scores, and recommendations. Now if we wanted to go to the next class we could just hit next or previous. Oops. We'll stick with our homeroom class and again our alert legend. If we start at the top here we see the attendance link. If we click that, that will actually bring us right back to our post daily attendance and we've already discussed that so we will back out and our next one is our discipline. If we click our discipline, we could actually add discipline right from this page. If we want to click for Ray, for example, and we'll select. And we want to make sure it's him. We say add. And now we could select our school, what type of offense it was, maybe it was fighting, the location, the bus, when it, w what date, uh, the time has started and we may want to type in a little comment and notify the parent we could hit save I won't do it for right now and that would save his record if we back out of that back to our main menu you could see a few other options that I really won't get into detail with with message center uh, report card posting athletic el eligibility food services uh, some test scores, some busing information, um, some basic reports that will actually be in the next training, and some assigned textbooks, um, online assignment templates. Um, there's really a, a lot of things that you could do with the Skyward EA Plus that um, you know just take some time to click around and get accustomed to them. And that just about wraps up this training. So thank you for watching the Skyward EA Plus teacher module training.